Section 4.6 talks about areas between two curves. Suppose you have a function y equal f of x and we have another function y equal g of x. And if we would like to find the area between a and b, the only condition that we have to ensure is that when we draw a rectangle, the top of this rectangle, in this case it's delta x, the top is always the same function all throughout the interval, and the bottom is the same. So in this case, you notice the top is always going to be the function f of x in this case, and the bottom is going to always be g of x. And if we want to find this area between the two curves between a and b, as long as that rectangle has the same top and the same bottom, the area between the curves will simply be the integral from a to b of the top function minus the bottom function. So I'm splitting this section into two different lectures. First lecture, we want to start with the axis. Find the area of the region bounded by the given curve. Sketch the curves and show a typical horizontal or vertical element of the area. That's the element we're talking about. Now keep in mind, if I am to look at an area that looks like this, x equal g of y and x equal h of y and if I want to find the area between c and d notice here up and down is not a good option because the top will change drastically meaning here the top is the red the bottom is the red but here the top is the red and the bottom is the blue so instead of going that way it turns out it's easier to just go sideways and you notice the right side is always the blue and the left side is always the red so in this case area will be the integral from c to d this is with respect to y and you just switch the order the right so if it's vertical, you always take top minus bottom. And if it's horizontal, you always take right minus left. So it's going to be G of Y minus H of Y in this case. And we'll get to those as we do examples, depending on how the graph opens up. So the first one says Y equal X over 3. So 0, 0. Rise 1, run 3. The line looks like this. And I'm looking at x equal 3 and the x-axis. There's the x-axis. We're talking about this region. We want this area. I'm going to set up the integral assuming you can integrate. The area is going to be the integral. And if I draw my rectangles, in this case, you notice the top is always and the bottom is always the x-axis you could say zero if you want with respect to x and that's because you're choosing this vertical and we're going to run x from zero to three and if i integrate that that will be my area again i'm going to assume you know how to integrate and if any problem i put on the notes that you do not know how to integrate you could just ask me i'll be more than happy to show you how it works and if i look at the same graph again if you take y equals zero rise one run three again the same deal okay i forgot to modify that y equal one there's y equal one and the y-axis we're talking about this region 
So here, if I want to run this, I could do this two ways. I could say area equal. If I chose my rectangles, and I could choose it vertical because vertically, the top is always the green. And the bottom is always the line. And that's going to run from x equals 0 to x equal 1. Or you could say you could run it horizontal. That will work. In this case, you're choosing a delta y. So instead of dx, it's a dy. And you would take right. But in this case, you want to solve this for x. So this is y equal x over 3 or x equal 3y. So the right, which is 3y minus 0, and that's going to run from, I meant the y, from y equals 0 to y equal a 1. So you could do any problem both ways. It really doesn't matter. You get the same area regardless. And if I look at y equal 3x, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 1 and I'm going to cut this between x equal negative 1 okay you know what let me not shrink it so 1 2 3 Okay, that didn't work. Crap. That's what I did. Okay. There. X equal negative one to X equal one and Y equals zero. So we're talking about these areas. Now, you want to be cautious how you do this. Area is going to equal the integral. Let's see. From negative 1 to 0, we're running dx. You notice if you draw it, you're going to take the top minus the bottom. Top minus the bottom 3x. Plus the integral from 0 to 1. And the reason I need two integrals is because the top and the bottom differ. Here, you'll notice on this interval, the top is the line, and the bottom is y equals 0. So if this is the x, this is always y equal. And if this is the y, this is always x equal. Something to keep in mind as you do those. Again, I'm assuming you not to integrate those. Any problem I set up in the notes that you don't know to integrate, ask me in class. I'll be more than happy to do. y equal x squared. 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. So is a parabola. x equal to 1, 2. And y equals 0. They're talking about this region. This is the area that we're looking for. And here you have two options, and I'll show you both. A equal, if you chose your rectangle vertical, you could do that. That that means that's dx. That's from x equals 0 to x equal 2. And the top is really x squared, y equal x squared minus the bottom, which is 0. You don't have to write the 0, of course. Or somebody might look at this and say, you know what? I want to choose my rectangle horizontal, delta y. No big deal. That is from y equals 0. If x equal 2, y equal 4. So y equal 4. And now I'm oops. Now I'm gonna take right minus left. Right, it's x equal 2 minus left. If y equal x squared, then x equal plus or minus the square root of y. This is the positive square root of y, and this is negative the square root of y. So both of those will give you the same area. So this or this, not both. 
in the previous problem you have to add those because they're different but here you just pick one of them couple more problems to go with respect to the axis y equal x cubed so let's say one we're gonna go let's say that's one two one two three four five six seven eight and negative one negative one negative two one two three four five six seven eight we're cutting this between negative 2 and positive 2. And the x-axis, there's the x-axis, which means we're looking for these areas. The same issue, again, I can't write this in a single integral. Area is going to equal the integral, the first piece. I'm going to take top. Top would be 0 minus bottom. Bottom is x cubed. That's with respect to x. And that is from negative 2 to 0, plus the interval from 0 to 2. If I draw my rectangle, the top now is the cube and bottom is the 0. Of course, you could say, well, I want this to be sideways. The interval, I want to run this with respect to y. Well, with respect to y, that is from y equal, if x equal negative 2, y equal negative 8. From y equal negative 8 to y equal 0. And aren't you going to take the left? If y equal x cubed, that means x equal cube root of y. So it's the function minus the 0 plus the integral from y equal 0 to y equal 8. And you could say, if I draw it this way, it's going to be right. x equal, uh, this was right, min the left was x equal negative 2, not 0. And here, if you draw the rectangle, do you see that the right-hand side is the 2? And the left-hand side is the cube root of y? And that gives you the same area. Again, you don't have to do both ways. One way will do, but I want to show you all your options. This problem, x equals 0, negative 1, negative 2. This behaves like a cubic. It is quadratic at negative 2, so the graph looks like this. We want to figure it out between negative 2 and 1 and the x-axis. What does that mean? That means we're looking for this area and this area. Well, I need two intervals for that, and here you'll notice I have to go dx. If I go dy, the left and the right are the same function. That's a bit of work we don't need. But if I go vertically, which means dx, the top is 0. And the denominator is this function. And that's from negative 2 to 0, plus the integral from 0 to 1. Do you see the top is the function? That is x into x plus 2. Okay. Oh, boy. And there it is. And if I look at the next problem, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. If x equals 0, y equals 6, let's say that is 6. This behaves like a cubic. Multiplicity is 1. The graph looks something like this. The x-axis, here's the x-axis. So what are they talking about? The only bounded regions are those two. The rest you can bound. Area is going to be the integral. I'm going to run from negative 3 to negative 2. And do you notice here the top is the function? And of course, you're going to have to foil this to integrate. But if I say setup, do not solve on the exam. There it is. 
plus the integral of from negative 2 to negative 1. Do you notice if you draw the rectangle here, top is the 0, bottom is this function? And there it is. That will be the area. x equal y squared is a sideways parabola. We know that because we covered that section. y equal negative 2 and y axis. They're talking about this region. Now you have two options. I'm going to do both. Area equal, you could say, let's run dy. That's y equal negative 2 to y equals 0. Right minus left. You're done. Or you could say area is, we want to run this. Vertically. Vertically, we could look at it this way, and we could say, well, that's dx. That's from x equal 0 to x equal, if y equal negative 2, then that's a 4. And in this case, the top is, this is y equal. If x equal y squared, that means y equal plus or minus the square root of x. Do you see here that y is negative? So you could say it is the right side minus the left side. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I meant top. The top, which is negative square root of y, minus the bottom. What's the bottom? The bottom is y equal negative 2. Those two will give you the same results. And the last example before I split this, I'm splitting this into two lectures, is if I have y x equal 9 minus y squared. So let's say that's 3, 6, 9. That's 3 and that's negative 3. And the x-axis, I mean the y-axis. So we're talking about this region. Again, do you see here why it's beneficial to take the right side is always the parabola. The left side is always the red. So area will equal the integral with respect to y. This is from y equal negative 3 to y equal 3. And the right side is x equal 9 minus y squared minus the left side is the 0. You really don't have to write that down. And if you integrate that, that will be the area. And we're going to stop right here. And we'll pick this up in our next lecture.